Hi everyone, um, this is my first real video. Before this, you know, like I was making Snapchat tutorials and stuff and keeping it to 10 seconds, trying to do my makeup and <laughs> my phone and stuff and that was very challenging. I feel like that was a good starting point for me and now I'm transitioning to YouTube and it is very, very exciting. Today, I am gonna show you how to do this halo eye that I'm wearing. It's a full face look. I'm doing my full face. It's pretty much like a get ready with me type thing. It is really, it is very, very exciting. I left my foundation open. <laughs> That could have been bad. Like, let's take a look. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started, like, straight from the beginning with a naked face and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy. As Manny MUA says, if you don't like this video, if you don't like me, don't fucking watch. And I always brush my brows. And start with lining underneath it. <laughs> And then now I'm going to dip again into my pomade and get just enough to fill it in. And then as I go further in, in my brow, um, I lighten up how much pressure I'm doing because I don't want my brows to look rectangular and blocky and harsh. As I said, you get lighter as you go in and then you're gonna, I'm going to blend it out. I'll you go with your hair growth so like my hair goes like down and out this way so i'm gonna brush it this way and then on the inside it kind of goes up and out so i brush up and <laughs> out. so i have both eyebrows done now so um we're gonna go in with our lamb crime venus palette and we're gonna go in with our transition shade which is this one divine it's like a matte taupe. It's really pretty. Um, it is a very, very good transition shade. I just feel like all taupes, like all, like taupes, all taupes, <laughs> are a very good transition shade. It is a very basic transition shade. Of course, there are um, other transition shades. Um, right now, we're just going to stick with our basic ass taupe. We're going to go in with our taupe with our Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. It is very fluffy. Um, it's awesome. I love it. I it's it's a really good blending brush. Honestly, it's a very very good blending brush. So I do windshield wiper movements. Um, you can definitely do circles. Sometimes I do circles. Just windshield wiper right now. So I put it in my crease and then I put it slightly above my crease. I don't know why, but I do like a kind of like cut crease ish type thing. But it's not very clean. It's not a clean cut crease. It's just like a above the crease cut crease. If that makes sense. Oh, so I used to have this really bad habit of holding my brushes way the fuck down here. Okay, it's not a pencil. It's not a pen, it's not a marker. You're not writing with it. You want to hold your brushes on the end. Like right here. That's why they have like these like like grips and stuff because you want to hold your brushes down here and blend if you hold it down here you're not gonna get the nice blend that you you're looking to get you need to hold it down here so you're light-handed and you can just go down and with it and everything down here there you're adding too much pressure and it's the color the shadow the pigment whatever is not gonna blend it, it just isn't I'm sorry it isn't Trust me, I know I used to do that, um, and it was bad. It was, it was very bad. We're gonna use our Naked 2 palette, um, double-ended shadow brush, and we're gonna go in with the smaller side, this little, like, packing side. So we're gonna use that icon color that's, like, a dark matte brown, and we're gonna put this on the outer lid and the inner lid, and we're just gonna leave a space in the middle. So don't put anything in the middle. And we are going to put this color a little into our crease. Like up here and like not so much up here. But just, just a smidge. And with this brush, like I'm not smearing it all over my lid. I'm literally just like patting it down. I just to hide in this place, but I'm still... There we go. There's that outer part. And um, I did put a little into my crease. But... That's okay, 
because we're gonna blend it out and it's gonna look really nice. So now we're gonna do the inside. There's a hole and I tried bigger to your hooks is all leave the middle like open, but we are gonna put the darker color like around it, like in the crease. And then just leave this like the lid like untouched. Okay, there we go. And then now we're gonna go in and blend it. We're gonna go back in with the blending brush that we just used with our transition shade. We are there's no additional product on this, we're just gonna use whatever's on it. So we're gonna blend it, blend, blend it up. Now we're gonna go in with our Kat Von D shade and light palette. This is the contour palette, but I had a highlight shade that I used for like underneath my brow and like what I'm doing right now, but I ran out of it. <laughs> And so I've been using this color right here, the middle color, and it's like a yellow-ish type color. This is the con this is the contour color I use on my face, or highlight color that I use on my face. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that on our brush, and we're gonna put this in the middle. And this is our base color for the shimmer that we're gonna be putting on your eyebrow. I just put it all along my eyebrow, and just blend it out a little bit, and then now we're gonna go in with. This beautiful, beautiful brush. Look at it, it's gorgeous. So we're gonna use this, and it's a Morphe brush. Um, it doesn't have a number, because I got it in a vegan brush set. But we're gonna go in and use Aura, and we're just gonna put this in the middle. So we're just gonna take a little, and we're just gonna pat it on the lid. We are not gonna smear it and stuff, we are just gonna pat it on the lid. Ooh, girl, wow. If you've seen House Bunny, she said, the eyes are the nipples of the face. And I completely agree with that. There's our top lid done. Alright, so I did both eyes. I did both top lids. So now I'm going to do the bottom lid on the lash line. I'm going to go in with that brush I used to put on the shimmer. E eyeshadow. Um, and we're going to go in with the transition shade. The taupe. All I know is taupe. Okay, I'm just going to put it. All along the lash line. Now we're gonna go in with the dark brown that we used on our lids. The dark matte brown. Alright, so now both of those are on there. We're gonna take this another Morphe brush. All my brushes from Morphe so far are were the ones in brush sets, so they don't have like numbers on them, I'm sorry. But like little small blending fluff. Like this is my favorite like brush that I have, honestly, in my whole collection. Is this one. So we're gonna go ahead and blend out. That's all blended out and good to go. Now we're gonna go in and do the eyeliner. I have heard so many compliments about my eyeliner and I like to thank all of you. Um, it really means a lot to me. But I've been asked a lot about what liner I use. I posted pictures and on Snapchat about the eyeliner that I use. I haven't tried any like high-end eyeliner. I've always used drugstore eyeliner. I use this Maybelline one. It's like Master Precise by Eye Studio, and it's a pen felt tip. So there we go. It's it's very accurate for what you're doing. I feel like it's very, very pigmented. It dries pretty quickly. So I have had really good experience with these. With this, I've been using it for about a year, a year and a half now. Um, it's really great. I feel like if you're just learning to do eyeliner, this would be a really good tool to have to learn with so there we go we drew the outside as long as it's not crooked if it's not crooked you know it's it, it's gonna be a good liner so i drew the shape now i'm gonna go in and start filling it in and then from there if i don't like something you know like i can always like make it thicker that is why i always start off like drawing my wing like really thin is because like if I mess up or if I don't like it, like I can always make it thicker. That's why my wings are always so thick. I got one eye done. All right, so I have both my liners on. Um, we are gonna go in and do the lashes. I wear two different mascaras. So the first one that I do is for lengthening. This is by CoverGirl. It's the full lash bloom. You guys do stupid faces when you put mascara on. Like, I know I used to when I was a kid. I used to be like... You know, like, I always made, like, really dumb faces. Um, I feel like this was, like, super hyped up, like, a few years ago. It was the Lash Blast volume. I like it. 
when I get in my feelings at night and I start crying, this was what was there for me. Because my mascara never runs, ever. You know what runs though? My eyeliner. I either need to get a waterproof eyeliner or stop being a little bitch. I know some people do their face makeup first and whatnot. I always do mine last. I have really bad skin. So I try and wait till the last possible minute to put on face makeup. Like I don't want my makeup long on longer than it needs to be. Uh, this is my primer. I have tried so many different primers. You guys know that I'm a licensed esthetician. In school, the brand that we used was Dermalogica. So when I was working at the men's spa that I was working at, we had to go to a class. I was like, okay, cool. So went there and I picked up some stuff and this was one of the things I got. It is a clearing mattifier by Dermalogica. Dermalogica. <laughs> And it's honestly really good. Um, it is mattifying. It is meant to make your face look matte. Um, this is from the Medibac clearing line, which is like for the acneic, oily skin types. I have really bad oily skin, especially during the summer. It is so bad. But I, and I live in Phoenix. Um, when you live in Phoenix, all you do is sweat. Sweat and get dark. But I don't use a lot. I have a really big face. I use about this much. I just started using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and my color is medium tan sand. It is very light. I feel like it's very light coverage. It's about medium. Um, I have really bad skin, so I want my foundation to be full coverage. It does have sunscreen, has SPF 15. I love Tarte. I love Tarte specifically for their foundations. Their foundations are usually really good for your skin and I just, like, I don't break out when I use them. So we're just gonna go in and open this. Uh, the only thing that's like kind of weird about it is like it's a dropper. You're gonna drop it onto your sponge. Put it all on. And since it's mine, like, I'm not gonna use this on my clients or anything. Like, this is my foundation. I'm disgusting. I will just put the dropper on. Because it's like, you know what, you might as well, like, you're gonna use all of it, like, mine, it's my face, anyway. Foundation is on, and then since it's a liquid, I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. I've heard all the YouTubers like rave about this and stuff and how much they love it and I really wanted to try it. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the Real Techniques powder brush. This was the first brush I bought. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. It's the oil control one. I like it. We're gonna go in and contour. Yeah, I love contouring. When I first learned to contour, I was in aesthetic school and I didn't really like know like what brushes to use. And the brush set that I bought was in Sephora, and it came with like a whole just like different like slew of like double-ended brushes. So these two brushes. I was watching tutorials and stuff and I was like, well, I don't have the money to like buy like nice brushes. So how do I use these to contour my face? Like I'm gonna use what I can to like get the results that I want. What ended up happening is I used this pointed foundation brush as my highlight brush, use this as my blush brush, use this as my buffing brush. And then I used to use this as my contour brush. Excuse you, it looked bad. It did look bad. Not everything looked perfect on me. But I learned. I, I lived and I learned. And now I know, like, this is, like, one of my favorite for highlighting. This was a cool brush. I think it's done because I washed it and I, I, I don't know what happened. I dried it. Couldn't. It, it, it got messed up. It's, like, this way. It's, like, whoo. It's, like, a comb over. I don't know. It makes me really sad because it was a really good brush. I feel like my setting spray is dried with my highlight color first. And that's this middle yellow shade. I pat my... I pat the color on. I did under my eyes. I'm gonna go on my nose all the way up to my forehead. The area I highlight on my forehead is like between this brow and this brow, so it's like this circle right here. I am gonna buff out the color, go on my chin, contour my Squidward nose. Squidward Tortellini! <laughs> shade oh i'm sorry this is the middle shade was the one i used on my nose just now so we're gonna go ahead and swipe twice like one two we're gonna do that and you can see where your cheekbones are 
right there. So that's where you're gonna put the color. And don't be talking, maybe. Two again, and then you're gonna put this on the forehead. I have a five head, so I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner of my forehead. A little bit more dramatic contour. Um, I go in with the darkest shade, and I just go once. And I'm gonna put that just on the outsides of my cheekbones. If so, if so, we know we'll be coming. If so, if so. Put a little contour color on my jawline, cause bitches like jawlines. And now we are gonna buff out the color. I use this side, it's like a stippling brush basically. And um, I used to use it for foundation when I first started wearing liquid foundation. It right. kind of mix like the con the dark contour color with the highlight color so there's like no harsh edges so it doesn't look like you tried really hard to contour no bitch like i contoured but i don't want you to fucking tell how hard i did i got this blush by covergirl it's the true blend blush it is in deep mauve it is so pretty okay let me tell you when i first got it i was so excited to try it i had my brush and i went and then i put it on looked like i got slapped this is so pigmented it is awesome all i do dip once and look at that and then i have to our contour is right here so we're gonna put the blush right on top of it like right here we'll be coming if so if so we know we'll be coming now we're gonna go in with our highlight the best part um i wear the naked illuminated in aura so i'm gonna go in with my fan brush from morphe <laughs> Go on with my ColourPop lip primer. If you're not wearing lip primer, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know you. I, I really don't. So tell me, girl, if that's so I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop. My freaking logo came off. That's how you know it's your favorite when the logo comes off. This is um ColourPop R&B. It is my favorite color right now. My favorite lipstick right now. we go so i literally have all my makeup on so i'm gonna go back again with my urban decay setting spray and the same one the dislike oil control one. Oh yeah so just spray that all over my face again and voila i am completely ready my full face is on i am ready to go get some digits i am ready to go slay some bitches i am ready to probably go to Taco Bell and like pick up like that really hot guy that works at Taco Bell. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> I hope you like this video. I tried really hard. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Um, you guys can comment. Let me know if you guys liked it. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. See you guys later.